Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by with the season five reloaded update within Warzone. We obviously got a decent amount of weapon changes, buffing some, nerfing some others, overall shifting things around a little bit. It wasn't the most significant update ever, and it kind of seems like that's usually the trend with Warzone this year. For whatever reason, most of the changes that they make are very, very minor. They don't do drastic changes in any given direction this year like they have before back in Warzone 1. But regardless, with Season 5 Reloaded, there are some ways to change up your loadout to absolutely optimize it for every single range. We're talking close range, mid range, long range. You got everything covered with this, basically just by pairing one to two weapons together. That's what we want to focus on here. The primary for mid to long range, a secondary for close range as well so you can absolutely fry so that said we're going to get into the actual stats and the details here if you enjoy the video or if you find it helpful as we go through it all do me a favor drop a like would be really appreciated and if you are new here you want to guarantee you're always up to date with everything going on in cod be sure to hit that subscribe button as well and turn on those post notifications but initially here we are on true game data as always shout out to tony and shout out to sim.gg for supplying the data mine stats as well for getting us all this information so readily available and so easy to dissect and break down for you guys to see so we got a handful of long range weapons here in my opinion the best of the best when it comes to the long range we got the rap h we got the ral mg super heavy but we know it's a powerhouse the cronin squall in full auto mode the tac v then also the cast off 762 i basically wanted to have a bunch of weapons that perform similar to one another and pretty much all of these for the most part are going to be those high damage output a little bit heavier recoil options with the exception of one and that in my opinion is actually the wrap surprisingly you might look at this gun and say it's a high recoil like a noxious super heavy lmg but not the case and it also just so happens that it's the main primary that we're focused on here with our ttk so we are looking at 300 health of course so full plates and full base health for warzone alongside combination shots which is the most accurate way to actually look at the ttk here and as we can see our red line is this rap h here and outside of the first 28 meters where you're not using an lmg to begin with because it's too slow and too heavy to be aggressively using there it is the king of ttk now for a bit it actually matches up with the row which is kind of surprising from 33 to 41 meters there the row does hang around a little bit but the row is also a much heavier recoil option a lot slower shooting so it might be a bit more awkward for you there other than that it's the rap party all day mid-range it dominates and long range you can see it has such a huge gap on all these other weapons and i mean we're talking solid guns here the rally is a powerhouse the cronin and full auto is still pretty solid the 762 is technically the best ttk rifle the tac v still isn't all that bad and the rap just is gapping them it's it's running laps around them on the track right now right this thing is absolutely insane you can even see the recoil plots here as well because of true game data uh what tony does here is really awesome and we can see that the rap also has the least amount of movement here basically cronin squall blue dots here go up and to the left decently high the uh attack v mainly vertical but still a lot of vertical movement there we got the orange line the row which is really spaced in between the shots going up into the right the cast off 762 a little tighter but going up into the right then you got the wrap which is the least vertical movement there now there is some horizontal shake in there uh but the build that we have does kind of help out with it for what it's worth but it's definitely a lower recoil option one that is surprisingly good and obviously the stats don't lie here it absolutely fries regardless of where you're fighting with it, which is just nuts in this current meta. So now what to pair it with? Well, I've taken a lot of the top tier SMGs here, the Lockman Sub, the Lockman Shroud from season five reloaded, the ISO 45, which we know is incredibly dominant, the Vel 46 or the MP7 and the Vaznev. And we get a really interesting and super competitive graph here for the SMGs. Now, really all that matters is these first 20 to 30 meters. Anything beyond that is irrelevant for subs. You're not gonna be using them at that distance, just straight up. Now, initially here, what what stands out to me a lot is the Lockman Shroud's potential in those first eight meters. Obviously, it's got the fastest TTK option there. So that is an acceptable secondary if you are a higher skilled player. Now, the Lockman Shroud, as we know, can have that ridiculous TTK in burst or semi-auto if you can spam it and accurately stay on target basically the entire time, which really is something that above average and high skilled players can do if they work at it average players are going to struggle with that a lot more which leaves the lockman shroud not really being all that viable for some players so if we were to take out this line and say okay that's the high skill option that's the high skill secondary to really have the ultimate setup wrap in the lockman shroud that's going to dominate that's for the high skill players now the 
remainder of the players, which is the majority of the player base left between the Lockman sub, the ISO, the Vel, and the Vaznev. And when we look at this, we get some, like I said, super competitive data here. I mean, the damage drop-offs on the MP5 and the Vaznev are a little bit more noticeable. However, in my opinion, outside of the Vel here, which is kind of just good everywhere, but not great anywhere, uh, it's they're, they're all pretty easy to use. Now, the ISO, we can clearly see it's got the best TTK in like the mid-range area, but again, that's not prime SMG area. 15 meters and closer really is where you're going to find most of your fights with these subs and right there to me despite the fact that the iso has that faster ttk the mp5 is what i lean towards the lockman sub just because it is so simple so straightforward with its recoil its hip fire its mobility the iso is phenomenal but its recoil and its shake on the actual scope whether you're using a, like a basic red dot or the iron sight is a lot more noticeable and that's why in all the pro lobbies all the high tier ranked lobbies and whatnot you see these pro players using the mp5 over the iso despite the fact that it definitely has better range that set up close technically the lockman sub has a slightly faster ttk in the first eight meters not something that's super noticeable in game but even when we see the recoil patterns here if we just look look at the uh, mp5 and the iso mp5 is going to be a lot more straightforward because you can see it's not bouncing as much horizontally the iso has got a lot of left to right left to right left to right which is kind of awkward and we stack that we can kind of see if we go through and hide these yet again you kind of see that there a lot of these blue dots are reaching a lot further out than the mp5s which just makes it a bit more awkward and a bit more random because horizontal recoil is really rough so the iso while usable i think is another great choice but for most players if you're just looking for something easy to absolutely fry with at all ranges it is the lockman sub the mp5 and the wrap combined here and these are setups that are going to work well in any sort of scenario there if you want to run this in ranked absolutely worth it because this is what i've been using if i'm not sniping it's my go-to sort of uh you know standard fully auto primary and smg build here uh if you want to use this in resurgence it's going to be great as well because especially in that mid-range the wrap's going to be frying super easy to control and then up close in those 10 meter gunfights the mp5 obviously is great the shroud is great the iso is great as well you can get away with using any of these and it's nice that the number one definitive loadout in the game right now at least in my opinion with the stats that we have here varies depending on what you want in a gun if you want that just super consistent range in the close range and uh you want that fast smg iso is a good option if you want that broken ttk the shroud is a good option if you want something that's easy and consistent and also has a fast ttk the basic mp5 is a great option any of these that you can pair with the wrap are going to do well so i'll go ahead and throw up the various different breakdowns for all the loadouts and all the tuning on screen here courtesy of my cod immunity page just a quick little simple layout so you guys can see all the attachments there the wrap is going to be very basic but with our changes to the underbail recently to the hound 9g it's going to be even more stable over range so even easier to shoot obviously now with the shroud like I said, it's really skill dependent, but if you can fry with it, you can spam that trigger and I, you know, break that fire rate. Basically, the thing is absolutely busted. And the ISO 45 is old reliable. We've been running this for a minute here. It's super consistent in my setup. I absolutely love for aggressive SMG gameplay all around. These options dominate right now and build it to your play style. Regardless of how you do so, you're going to end up with an absolutely insane loadout post update here. By far the number one meta option. That being said, that is going to wrap things up for today. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It would be seriously appreciated. And if you're new here, you want to guarantee you're always up to date with the latest news, updates, patch notes, meta breakdowns, everything going on in COD, really. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.